welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a lovely, lovely Christmas. I wanted to film my what I got for Christmas for 2017. I've already had quite a few people asking me over the last few days, Emily, when are you gonna do your what I got for Christmas? I'm doing it now because you guys seem to really enjoy these videos. I love filming them myself because I like to look back on them in future years. I think it's nice to show appreciation to the people who gave you the gifts as well. I think it's a nice way of saying thank you for giving me these lovely things. So that's why I love doing these videos. This is not bragging, this is not me going, oh look at all my stuff. This is me just saying thank you to people who got me the things and just sharing with you what I got because I love watching these myself and I know you guys like watching them as well so that is what I'm going to be doing today so without further ado I'm going to show you what I got for Christmas for 2017. I'm first of all going to show you what my friends got me. Now with a lot of my friendship groups we do secret centres and then I also do a secret centre at my work. Now I got for my secret centre a lovely bag with some sweets in it which I'm already in the channel. And then I also got two other things in there. I got a candle and this is the scented wax filled candle and it's fig and elderberry and oh my gosh this thing smells amazing it just smells so so good this is such a lovely scent it's really sweet and florally it's just absolutely gorgeous because i love my scented candles as i put on my super center list and they got me a candle which i was really happy about they also got me this notebook which i absolutely love because it's so cool and it's basically a letters to your future self notebook on the front it says letters to my future self right now read later treasure forever and then basically what you do with these is they form letters which you write to your future self with your pearls of wisdom and then you seal it up and then you can write what date you wrote it and then what date you want your future self to open it and i just thought this was so so cool because i would love to do this every year or every so often and then read these back when i'm older and then see what my younger self thought of life and the world in general then from my friendship group secret center i got this lovely hand cream now i actually know who got me this because at the end of the secret center we all revealed who got who and i got my friend helena and i kind of knew from the wrapping i was like i think that's helena who got me so i was indeed right and she got me this hand cream and it's from the company called wild and wolf and it is the minted elderflower hand cream and i absolutely love the design of this because it's this really cute packaging of little rabbits in this woodland scene it's so so cute and in the hand cream itself is actually a really decent size it looks like this and it smells absolutely incredible i have actually broken into this to smell it because why not and it smells really good it smells very fresh and very clean and very nice for springtime i imagine i love hand cream you can never go wrong with a hand cream and i do get through hand cream quite quickly so i'm very glad to have another hand cream in my collection now i want to show you what my friend rochelle got me now rochelle made me laugh because she got me a present but then in the gift bag which was this she also got some presents for my guide dog unity so she's like i love you but I got Unity more things, which I thought was hilarious. So she got her a raw hide chew and then she got her some Christmas treats. Rochelle actually wrapped it really well and by the time I eventually got into the actual wrapping and opened it, I discovered this beautiful little teal bag. And in this drawstring bag, I have a necklace. And she got me this lovely gemstone necklace. Now, this gemstone is an amethyst. It's a really chunky amethyst and it's on this gold chain which actually wraps around the gemstone itself. And the chain it's really ornate and it's very long as well and i love gemstones i've got gemstone jewelry and i do really like it i just think it really adds something to the outfit i like things that are a little bit more unique and i absolutely love this and i think she said she got me an amethyst because it's for love and luck and prosperity and all that sort of thing which i thought was really funny and my friend rochelle is really into her gemstones anyway so i thought that was a really sweet gift of her to give me and it's really really nice so i'm going to look forward to wearing that because I do like gemstones and anything to give my life positivity, I will gladly wear. And the next present I got was from a lovely, lovely, amazing human being called Alex E. I have mentioned Alex in quite a few of my other videos, in, in particular my what I got for Christmas videos, because she always sends me a present, which is so kind of her, and I don't expect her to do, but she always sends me a card or a present around my birthday and also Christmas time. So I always want to mention her and her story. Alex is mum to my friend, Charlotte Eads who was here on YouTube and sadly a couple of years ago she passed away due to brain cancer. Now I have been keeping in contact with Alex and Charlotte's family ever since. I was a very close friend to Charlotte and I miss her a lot. Alex set up the charity called Charlotte's Bag which is to raise funds 
for glioblastoma, which is the tumour that Charlotte passed away from. So I will definitely leave the link in the description box if you want to go and check that out. If you want to support them in any way, do go and have a look on there because it's an amazing charity. And Alex and Charlotte's family and also Cressida, Alex's friend, set it up. So it's a really inspiring team effort and I definitely would strongly advise you to go and have a look at it. Alex sent me this, which I thought was really, really interesting and I've never seen anything like it. And it's a mood lamp. And basically it's a portable lamp. So it looks like a book when you first see it, which I thought, hey, that's great, I love books. And then when you open it, it's actually a lamp and it has batteries and it turns into different colours and it's portable. And I've just never seen anything like that. I've heard of mood lamps before, but I've never seen one that's like this. But I thought that was so cool that you can actually use it in different places and it's portable, because I could take this away with me when I go to camping or in the caravan or things like that and I just thought it was so cool and I just like the fact that it's got all these different colours I think it'll be really interesting to see what it looks like really excited to give it a go now moving on to what my nan got me the first thing my nan got me which I thought was hilarious was a set of Prosecco and Prosecco truffles now she remembered that I liked Prosecco and she got me this and I just thought it was so cute because you get a little bottle of Prosecco and then some truffles in there as well I have refrained from opening it and I'm going to wait till New Year's Eve and I'm going to crack this open and toast the start of my new year with some Prosecco and some chocolate. The next thing that my nan got me I was so happy about because I really wanted these for ages and I wanted to start up a collection and it is one of the illustrated versions of the Harry Potter books. These are illustrated by someone called Jim Kay and they are absolutely stunning. Now I love Harry Potter, I've got the original Harry Potter books but I saw these on Amazon and I've seen friends of mine have these, I've seen blogger friends of mine talk about these and I really really wanted one and I opened it on Christmas morning and I was like oh my god I finally have one oh so I was so happy about this because I think the illustrations in this are absolutely beautiful and they are just so so stunning and it's really immersive and I think it's a a really unique and different kind of Harry Potter experience because I've read the books I've listened to the audiobooks but I've never really looked at illustrations and I think it's going to be a different way of reading Harry Potter to what I'm used to so I do have number three which is the prisoner of Azkaban because number three is my favorite out of the entire series but I do want to get the whole collection there's two other ones so there's number one and number two I am delighted to finally have one so thank you Nan moving on to what my Nan and granddad got me I got a package from Mango which I was really excited about. Now I had seen these boots on Mango and I really wanted them, I really 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 loved them and I was obsessed with them. So this is what the boot looks like, I mean there are two obviously but I'm only going to get one out because I'm lazy. It's this really lovely black velvet material and it's got all these embroidered stars on them and then also this embroidered gold moon on there as well and they're really celestial themed and I have been obsessed with all of the star and constellation and celestial themed things. I mean, look at my dress. I mean, I think it's clear that I like anything celestial. And I love the fact that it's a really nice chunky heel. It's not too big. It's quite sturdy as well, so I'll be able to walk fairly comfortably in these. And I just absolutely love them. They're just so beautiful. I mean, it was just love at first sight. Now, I'm going to move on to something that I bought myself for Christmas. Now, I know it's a bit weird to buy yourself Christmas presents, but we should all treat ourselves at Christmas time, I think, anyway. And I had gone up to London to see the Christmas Saurus with my mum. And beforehand, we did our annual thing of going to Covent Garden before we go to our theatre production. That's what we do every year. We go to the theatre and we go to have a look around the shops in Covent Garden and then we have something to eat. We do that every single year without fail. Now, I walked past this shop called... I'm going to try and pronounce it. This is Les... Nerides, I think it's called, and it's a jewellery shop. Now, I had seen this shop when I went up to Covent Garden with my aunt in the summer, but I really wanted to go back there and have a look, and I did on that particular day when I was with my mum, and I ended up buying myself something for Christmas. They've got a massive fairy tale collection, and they do different tales each season, I think, and for Christmas, they had brought up the Snow Queen range, and I saw this in the window, and I was like, oh my God, I really want this, and it's this gold cuff. It's, I think it's gold-plated, and on it, you've got this lovely snowy scene and you have the deer and you also have Goethe I think her name is I can never remember if it's Goethe or Goethe and you've also got these little mountains in the background it's this really lovely snowy alpine scene it's just so so incredibly beautiful and it's just really whimsical with a little girl advancing towards this lovely deer and I love deers deers are one of my favorite animals I love anything fairy tale themed I love jewelry so what could be better and so I mean I'm just gonna leave it on now because why not now moving on to what my mum and my dad got me now one of the things that I said I really wanted for Christmas was some of the things from the Kath Kidston Peter Pan range when 
when I saw this, I was like, oh my god, mum, please get me something for Christmas from there. And two things that I really loved was the bag and the cup. And lo and behold, what do you know? I got both. So this is the bag. This is what it looks like. It's this really large, I guess you'd call it like a grab tote bag. It's really big. And it's got the night sky scene with Peter Pan and the children flying over London with a starry night in the background. And how beautiful is this? It's just absolutely stunning. It's this really lovely velvety material and then she also got me the cup to match and it's basically the same scene it's the same design as the bag but it's just on a cup and i just love it it's just so cute i just can't get over i can't get over and i love peter pan anyway i did a whole entire dissertation on peter pan when i was in my final year of my degree and the thrill of peter pan never has left me i've got this obsession with peter pan and i'm just so happy to finally have some of the things from the collection i really 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 wanted something from the collection but i have two things so what could be better now to please the inner harry potter fan in me my mum got me this jumper which i was just so excited about it's this maroon color jumper it's a really lovely slouchy kind of fit and it's fleecy on the inside which i was like oh yes and it says on the front waiting for my letter from hogwarts in gold lettering and it's got this owl on it and the owl is holding a letter i think the owl is supposed to be hedwig i'm actually planning on going to the harry potter exhibition that's opened in the british library next week so i will definitely wear this with my gryffindor scarf and my hogwarts satchel and i will definitely look like I'm being extra but I really don't give a damn. Now for Christmas every year I always ask my mum to get me some pyjamas and slippers and a new dressing gown and every year she delivers but boy this year did she deliver because she got me this really snuggly dressing gown and on it it has this really adorable pattern of these different woodland animals so you've got a badger you've also got a rabbit and you've got a squirrel as well and they're all in little night garments so they're like wearing little night caps and socks and things i just think it's so cute and it's just the most snuggly soft thing i've ever felt in my life so continuing with the woodland theme she got me these slippers which are little deer faces and they are so cozy and fluffy on the inside and i just love them they're just little deer faces and then continuing with that woodland theme she also got me two sets of pajamas the first set she got me was this pair of squirrel pajamas i mean just look at these these are the leggings to it and they are little squirrels with little acorns and leaves i just think they're so cute and then the second set of pajamas she got me were these ones and these ones are in this pattern of hares and squirrels and i just love the fact that she's gone with a woodland theme because i love woodland animals yay i'll be all cozy my mum also got me something from lush i mean when do i not ever have lush at christmas time and she got me this set which is the merry christmas set when this you get the shoot for the stars bath bomb you get the christmas sweater bath bomb London snow bath bomb and golden wonder bath bomb and boy oh boy i am definitely going to be using one of these tonight with my new pajamas my mum also got me a new bathrobe and this bathrobe is a little bit different to my other one because it's personalized with my initials on it and this one just looks like it's going to be so snuggly and luxurious and i'll feel like i'm in my own little spa when I have this out, so thank you very much for that, Mum. My parents also got me something which I was really, really excited about, and I'd been eyeing up for ages, and I think my mum knew I wanted it. It's this really lovely set from Spectrum Cosmetics, and Spectrum makes brushes, if you didn't know. For Christmas, they brought out this range of Zodiac-themed brushes and bag sets. They have Earth, Fire, air and water and obviously i'm a water sign because i'm the cancerian star sign and it's basically the bag which is really beautiful i mean you could use this as a clutch bag afterwards because it's got a chain and it's got the actual star signs on the front the water star signs and the word water on it in gold and the actual bag is in this really lovely teal dark blue color and the actual zip has a little star charm on it and then you open the bag inside the bag you get a selection of brushes so you get eight brushes in here my parents also got me something from Jo Malone and when I opened it up I discovered a little box and in the box was a perfume this is the orange bitters perfume which was part of their christmas collection they brought it out last year and i didn't get my hands on it which I was very upset about and i really really wanted it i'm just going to spritz some now just to indulge in it why not 
oh that is so nice it's really really uplifting it's a really nice zesty smell but it's definitely got more of a rich undertone to it she got me that because you know i really wanted that and i was so happy because i really wanted to get a new perfume and i wanted this one in particular so i opened that on christmas morning and i can tell you i was delighted next thing i got was a complete surprise to me and the first box i opened was from diptyque now I was a bit like, ooh, tip teak, what do we have here? When I opened it in this lovely little drawstring bag, I had discovered that my mum had bought me the Pomanda candle, which is my absolute favourite candle out of all the dip teak candles. Pomanda is beautiful. It's a really sweet, spicy smell. It's lovely for autumn, winter. But then later on in my opening of the presents, I discovered a second box from Diptyque and I was like there's a second box what the hell and when I opened it I discovered not one not two but three candles all of the candles are in the Christmas range so you've got three different candles here and they are different winter scent and they've got different arts on them so you've got a unicorn you've got a phoenix and then you have a dragon and there are stories behind them and they are absolutely beautiful now if that wasn't enough candles for you she also got me another candle from Neom which I was very excited about because I actually had seen this and I really wanted it and it's the Christmas wish candle and I mean the scent alone is incredible it's really orangey and warm and ambery and spicy and it's just delicious but the actual candle itself is beautiful because it's this really lovely gold candle and it's this scene of a Christmas street with the moonlit sky and the little Christmas trees in the window and there's so much attention to detail with this candle you could definitely use it afterwards to put your brushes in or something it's just absolutely stunning so she got me that which I was really happy about because I had actually wanted this so I actually opened this before the diptyque candle so I was like oh I've got a candle for Christmas and when I opened those I was like I've got several candles for Christmas and not to mention that I've got more in my stocking as well so I think all in all I got like 10 candles for Christmas which I was like oh my gosh and then she also got me this set from Neon and it's the Home of Sleep collection in this you get three things you get the room spray you get a sleep bath foam and you also get a hand balm and I thought it was so lovely because I've mostly tried the room sprays and the candles from Neom I've never tried any of their bath and body things so I'm going to really enjoy trying these out and seeing what they're like Neom really killed it with the design this year for Christmas the next thing that my parents got me oh my gosh I can tell you I opened this on Christmas morning and I was like that is the best thing I have ever seen and it is a picture and it is a caricature of myself and my guide of unity so it's personalized art the person who did this was called pencil and grace and it's basically a cartoonized version of me and her and it's the picture that we took when we were going to the full unique top vlogger beauty fest in the summer and i just love it because i love the outfit i was wearing but also think the interview looked really cute in this as well i can't wait to hang this up in my room now i've done this video the next thing i got was actually something that i asked for my mum to get me and it's this blogger pad on it you've got a section to plan out your blogs for the week so you've got blog posts to write you've also got a section that says notes deadlines emails etc so you can write down things you need to do and i thought that was so nice when i saw it and i really wanted this because i like planning things i love stationery and i like to get organized and i thought this was a really cool idea because you can just tear it off as you go along and you can have it laid out i thought it was a really nice idea so she got me this because i really wanted it and she knew i wanted it which i was so happy about the next thing that my mum got me was a moisturizer now basically mum said to me write down a list of the things that you would like for christmas and i will get you some of the things on that list whatever i can get and I wrote down the Sunday Riley Tidal Moisturiser because I tried it earlier in the year and I really really loved it. On Christmas morning I opened it and discovered that she had bought me it. Now this is my first ever product from Sunday Riley. I've never had anything from their range before but I really liked this. It's got lots of hyaluronic acid in it. It's really soothing and moisturising and it just feels so gorgeous on the skin. It melts into your skin and your skin just feels like silk afterwards. And I was so excited when I saw it because I was like oh my god I feel like a proper beauty blogger now. It's the first thing I've ever got from Sunday Riley. Another skincare product that my mum got me was the Body Shop Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask. Now I had used this several times before. I got little samples from Body Shop and I really really liked it and I had been meaning to get one for ages and I always kept saying to my mum I really didn't want to get that mask because I love it. It kind of reminds me of the Glam Glow Mask. It's that kind of texture and it gives your skin that same glowy 
really clean looking appearance. But she got me this one because she knew I hadn't got it and she knew that I liked it. I'm so excited to use this and I'll definitely be doing a blog post on this to review it. So if you're interested, do check out my blog. I'll leave links in the description box below so you can go and check that out. The next thing that she got me was a set of space masks. Now I have never ever tried these before in my life. I have just seen so many bloggers and other people raving on about these things for ages now. And I was just like, I really want to know what the hype is about. And I had said this to my mum many times before, and my mum bought me a set of these. I was like, here you go, try them out, and you can do a blog on them yourself. She's quite cute with my mum because she gets me loads of things that I can actually review on my blog. I think she knows that I like to get beauty products for Christmas because I can review them too. So it's win-win for me because I get something to try out, but I also can review it too. It says on the back that you open the pouch and unfold your mask. Gently place the space mask over your eyes and fit the loops around your ears. Within a couple of minutes, you'll feel the space mask heat up as the oxygen molecules in the atmosphere cuddle up to the mask iron particles in a natural heat exchange. Drift off as you enjoy approximately 15 minutes of outer-worldly warmth while your mind floats into space. Return to planet Earth. Re reconnecting with earthly matters may take a little longer. <laughs> I get really fatigued eyes because of the fact I've got nystagmus and I have to strain my eyes quite a lot so my eyes often feel really achy. By the end of the day I go to bed feeling pretty zonked. And I'm really intrigued to see what these actually do whether it's more for the holistic purposes or whether it's more for your where you, your eyes feel and what it actually does. Now the next few things that I've got is of course makeup because when do you ever know me to not have makeup at Christmas time? I will start off by showing you some of the things that my mum got me from Charlotte Tilbury. The first thing my mum got me which I thought was so cool is the lipstick wardrobe organizer it is a 12 part organizer and it's in this maroon color and it's got the Charlotte Tilbury logo on the front and all the little gold lips all over it and I just thought it was so cute and I just thought it would look really nice with all of my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks organized into this one organizer so she also got me two new lipsticks to add to it Charlotte Tilbury has made lipsticks that are themed after different cities so there's Shanghai there's London and then there's also New York she got me London and New York because those are the two shows that I really like the look of and I mean look at the actual boxes they are just so so incredibly cute this one is London it's got a little umbrella because we live in London it rains all the time and you've also got the newspapers on there you've got the Big Ben you've got a red telephone box you've got Parliament it's just so quintessentially British and gimmicky and cute and this shade is more like a nudie pink it's just so beautiful it's like your classic nude pink it kind of reminds me of pillow talk a little bit that kind of nudie neutral shade and then the other one she got me was in the shade New York Sweetheart now this one has more of a brown tone to it, if I can remember rightly. And actually, I like the colour of this one a little bit more. But I like them both. But this one, out of both of them, I think the colour is really, really pretty. But I'm not going to lie, the boxes do please me as well. And this is what the shade looks like. This one, I think, is more of a satin finish. The other one's a matte finish. This is more of a kind of a creamy finish. And this one, like I said, it's got more of a brown hue to it. So this is more of a nudie brown. It's more the shade that I would wear on a daily basis. She also got me another eyeshadow palette from Charlotte Tilbury. Now, I had thought that I had every Charlotte Tilbury palette that I wanted. But that was until I saw the palette called Rebel. Now, Rebel is a green tone palette. So in this, you get four shadows. And they are a mixture of greeny, shimmery shades. Of course, the highlight shade isn't green. It's more of a gold shade. But the other three shades are really deep green colours. Now, I saw this and I was like, oh, that is really beautiful because I do like wearing green eyeshadows. I always get compliments when I wear green or silver on my eyes a lot. And I really wanted to get this one. So she got me that because it's the thing with my mum. She always gets me sharp Tilby things at Christmas time because it's something I like to have. I collect it and it is more of an expensive high-end brand. So I usually get it when it's either a birthday or it's Christmas time or a special occasion. And I just collect it as I go. The next two things my mum got me were some highlighter palettes. The first one she got me is from Laura Mercier and it's the Face Illuminator Collection. And when you open it, you get four highlighter shades and they are really beautiful. They are in a mixture of gold tones and more pearly tones and rose gold tones. Now, I have never ever tried any of the Laura Mercier highlighters before and I've really wanted to for ages. And I mean, just look at the actual way that they are formulated. They're really beautiful. They're like serrated. They are just so, so, so beautiful and stunning. The other highlighter palette she got me is from Hourglass and this is the metallic strobe palette. And this is what the actual palette looks like. It's this really lovely kind of metallic finish. You've got three highlighter shades and they're in the metallic strobe collection. So they're more of a shimmery kind of finish. Hourglass's highlighters as a rule, they're more of a soft finish and they're more like skin looking and they're more natural but this is more of a shimmer to it although they're so finely milled it still gives it a really nice 
sort of wet look appearance to the skin it still looks like you're wearing quite a natural highlight it's not too in your face but it's more of an oomphy highlight i'm really excited to try this because i do have lots of the Arabrass palettes and i really do like them and i really wanted this one highlighters are my obsession they are my life i think in my next life or my previous life i will be or have been a magpie because i'm just attracted to shiny things i'm like Nyeh! it's shiny it's mine the final thing my mum got me was this basket now this is a basket she made up and inside you've got loads of beauty things in this. Every Christmas she always does me like a pamper hamper and she'll put things in it like my face mask that I like and she'll put candles in there, like little candles, she puts little hand cream sets, little beauty sets, all that kind of thing and she just makes it up like a little pamper hamper. In this you've just got loads of things, so you've got like face masks in it, you've got some of the Christmas cracker things, so you've got like a cordially one, you've got an M&S one which has got a candle and a moisturiser and a room spray. I got a little thing here from Face Inc and it's the fairy tale of good skin and you get free sheet masks in there which I thought was so cute. I'm really going to enjoy delving into that now I film this video. So that's everything I got for Christmas for 2017. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you got for Christmas and I hope you all have an amazing new year and really enjoy yourself. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye and Happy New Year!